Okay, so from Monday when you're coming into school, first thing you've got to do is read your letter. Make sure that you know which entrance you're coming into. It'll say really clearly on your letter. For all your 12 students, you're always going to be entering through the school exit, which is down opposite one stop. Okay? Only other thing you need to remember, stay two metres apart. It's that simple. Come join us, guys. Okay, group 1A and 2A, you're going to come through through the main entrance. You'll notice that just like Tesco, Asda and all the other shops, you've got some markings on the, on the floor. So if there was someone in front of me there, I'd have to wait here till it's safe to move forward. Once we've moved forward into the main entrance, we've got some much nicer floor markings, more colourful. Come this way. Okay, you have to go up one at a time, same as, same as Tesco and Asda. When you get to the front, you might notice a beautiful familiar face. Right here, we've got Viv. We love us a Viv. She'll let us know that we can go in through the main doors on the way in. Make sure we use the hand sanitizer. Stay classy. Back again. If you're group 1B or 2B, you're not going in through the main entrance. Come with me, you're going through student reception. Now, the important thing to remember here is some students might be queuing all the way around here. If that queue is full all the way around, then you might have to just nip onto the grass to make sure you stay two metres apart. Okay, we'll have to come down here. This is where we might have to just nip over. Watch your bow shoes, though. Now, once again, just like 1A, you have to wait in line just like you was at the supermarket. And as the queue moves, you move. But make sure you stay two metres apart. When we get to student reception doors, there will be some more social distance markings inside. When you get to the last social distance marking, if you want student reception, we'll make sure that you wash your hands using hand sanitizer point you into the direction that you need to follow. Okay, so once you've been signed in at reception or student reception, you'll come into the canteen area. You'll see on the floor that we've got the one-way system signs here, there, telling you which direction that you need to go. On the first day that you arrive, you'll see a range of packs here available for you. You need to pick up one of these packs. This pack will be your pack for the remainder of half term. There's a sticky label on the front. Make sure you've got your name clearly marked there. Inside, you've got all of the different materials that you'll need to access your learning, including writing equipment, a whiteboard to show your answers, and also rulers and rubs and equipment such as that. As soon as you've picked up your pack, please don't wait around in this area. Follow the one-way system and make your way straight to your classroom. If you're on the first or the second floor, make sure that you're using the middle stairway. So follow these one-way system lines. And again, folks, whenever you get an opportunity to clean your hands, to sanitise your hands, so you'll see that we've got another dispenser just here. So please take every opportunity you can to wipe your hands and then make your way to your classroom. Should you need to go to the toilet, please go to your classroom first and gain permission from the member of staff to go to the toilet first. So please don't go straight towards these toilets, head towards your classroom first. When you're going up the stairways, please make sure that you're looking at the signs that we have. First of all, make sure that you're remaining two metres apart from anybody else within the school. And please make sure that you're not touching any of the banisters. The aim for when you're moving around school is that you get to your classroom as quickly as possible, whilst touching as few surfaces as possible. So making sure we're cleaning our hands regularly and that we're not making any unnecessary contact with parts of the building to make sure that we're maintaining a safe environment for everybody. Back with me now, guys. Toilets! There's only two on each floor, so use them wisely. After you've been there, remember you've got to wash your hands. To use the designated area, if somebody's already in there, make sure that you're two metres apart. That's six foot six inches. Okay? As you come up to wash your hands, make sure you use warm water, lots of soap. But if you look carefully, there's only one tap available on each side. So do not use any of the other taps, just the ones that keep you safe, guys. Okay, after you've washed your hands, 
you'll notice that these hand dryers are switched off because they can spread germs. So get yourself a paper towel, dry your hands off, and then we've got some new lidded bins, watch the touch, and in it goes. Okay, so we're in the classroom now. This is why we've all come here to get the learning done. So when you come in, different to usual, member of staff will not be greeting you at the door. You need to come straight in. The member of staff will let you know exactly which seat you need to go to. Mr. Cottrell, could I have you third on the left hand side, please? Certainly, sir. Miss you. We'll be making sure that you've got your pack with you. That's got everything you need in for your learning. Now, a couple of bits of information, quick as you can, please, Mr. Cottrell. This is learning time now. Let's get cracking. So a couple of things about how your classroom is going to work. Your teachers will not be passing resources to you. Everything that you need will already be set at the desk at the beginning of the lesson for you, and any additional items will be in your pack. That's why it's so important to keep your pack with you. If at any point Mr. Cottrell might need to go to the toilet, needs to pop his hand up, and at that point the member of staff will make sure that he can safely go to the areas, go to the loo, and be back. As always, when you're going to the toilet, please don't touch any services unnecessarily, and when you come back, keep safely towards the centre of the room, and then go to your designated space again. Is that okay, Mr. Cottrell? Yep. Thank you. So after you've had two hours of fantastic learning, that's the end of the lesson. So your teacher will be dismissing you one at a time. Please make sure you wait until you're dismissed from that classroom. Mr. Cottrell, could you please stand up? Thank you very much indeed. As you're going, Mr. Cottrell, I need you to make sure you follow the one-way system. You're using the science stairwell. Go down that one-way system, please. As soon as you make your way to the canteen area, you need to make sure that you've sanitised your hands. Lovely to see you. I'll see you again in a couple of days' time. I'll take this with me and bring it back tomorrow. Take that with you. That's with you for the rest of this half term. Thank you, sir. So, when your morning lessons have finished and your teachers have dismissed you and you've come down the one-way system, you've then got your lunchtime provided for you. So, as you come down the stairs, you'll come through this way here. Now, if you're group A, you will be having your lunch within the gym area on the right-hand side here. If you're group B, you'll be taking a left and you'll be going towards the sports hall. Now, in both of these rooms, we've set up um, a facility for you to have your lunch. You need to make sure that you're sticking to your two meter distancing. Inside both of these rooms, we will have hand sanitizers. You need to make sure that you've cleaned your hands before you're eating your lunch, and also make sure that you've cleaned your hands once you've finished your lunch. At all times, you need to adhere to the two meter social distancing. And as well as that, we've got a number of the foot pedal bins for you, so that when you've finished your lunch, you can safely dispose of your rubbish. At the end of your lunch time, a member of staff will let you know when that time is finished, and then it's going up to your afternoon lessons for, the, for that two hour block. So just as a reminder, Group A will be going to the sports hall, uh, sorry, sorry, to the gym, and Group B will be making their way to the sports hall for lunch. So at the end of the day, your teachers from all of your different classes will dismiss you. You'll be coming down to the main canteen area, and the key thing to know and remember is, is that you're gonna exit through the same doors that you entered in the morning. So to confirm, Group B will be exiting the building from student reception, Group A, you'll be making your way over to main reception, and that's where you'll be leaving. As you're traveling through this part of the building, as always, if you can make sure that you keep your two meters distancing, there'll be a member of staff at each of the two receptions who will take your name so they can mark you as having left the building. Can I also remind you that when you exit the building and you're going up the path, please keep to two meters social distancing. We hope that all of this video has been really clear for you. I know that Mrs. Burrows has got a message for you as well, but I hope that you have a really enjoyable time at school. We are looking forward immensely to seeing you again. We're looking forward to getting back to learning, which is what we're all about here. So hopefully that's a clear video and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week and have a great weekend. So hopefully after watching this video, you will be really well informed about what's happening around the school and what changes that we've had to make. We've had to make those changes for your safety and for the safety of the staff and the people within the school and for your families and the families of the staff actually. So all of this is really important that you make sure you follow and abide by these rules. Now, if anyone at home is suffering from any of the symptoms of COVID, so if they have a persistent cough, if they have a high temperature, if they've lost their sense of taste or smell, then you need to make sure that you don't come into school. So while that member of the family gets tested, then you have to stay at home with them for 14 days. If they get tested and it's negative, then you can come back into school. Absolutely, we'll be delighted to have you. But if they're poorly, you have to stay at home as well, I'm afraid.
If during the school day you start to suffer from any of those symptoms, please make sure you tell your teacher straight away. What will then happen is you will come down to this area here. This is our COVID quarantine area. So you're out in the fresh air. We're able to make sure that we contact home and somebody needs to be able to come and collect you within 30 minutes of us contacting home. That's really important. So families, parents, somebody needs to be aware that if the school makes contact with home, we need to be able to get you out of the school site within 30 minutes of us contacting. Now, when you come in on the first day, and in fact, any day that you're in school, you need to make sure that you are here before 10.30. You should be in school between 10 to 10 and 10 o'clock. But anyone arriving any time after 10.30, unfortunately, will have to be sent home because we won't be able to then admit you into the lessons. So you must be here, as I said, really between 10 to 10 and 10 o'clock. But anyone that comes in after 10.30, <coughs> unfortunately, will be sent home. Don't forget the pack that Mr Cottrell showed you already. You need to bring that. If you turn up without that pack, you'll also be sent home because we can't lend you any equipment. And finally, and most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, we are so excited to have you back in the school. We want you back here. We want you learning. Your teachers are excited about having you back. I know the support staff here are really desperate to see you all back in school. So we can't wait to see you back in school on Monday. Looking forward to it. Have a good weekend.